Good morning, AOM. How are you today? Yo, AOM people. It's a sunny, wonderful day in Washington. Which is funny, because it's sunny, and also, I'm wearing a hoodie. And it's July 2nd. It's insane. Anyway, anywho, thanks. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. And we get a lot of questions. Uh, and sometimes these questions are like, I've never even thought of that before, but for people that aren't familiar with certain things, they're great and valid questions, duh. And one of the questions we've gotten is, what is counseling? What is therapy? And as a licensed marriage and family therapist, I think that I'm a good candidate to answer that question. So therapy, and this is off the top of my head, I don't know the actual definition, but therapy or counseling is talking to someone that you don't know that can give you an outside objective view of you and your family and your problems and can hear your story from a different light. It's kind of like if you're seeing something for the first time, you don't have preconceived notions of it, you don't have attached baggage to it and that's why going to a counselor or a therapist that you don't know can be so incredibly helpful because they just can listen to your story and ask you questions. Well, wait a minute. Well, why why is it that way? Why do you respond certain ways to certain people or whatever it is? Why do you have a fear of heights or or whatever whatever the case may be? And another cool thing about a therapist, at least a good ethical therapist is it's completely confidential. So whatever any client says to me, I like to remind them always, you know, what we're talking about is only between you and I. And if I don't have a signed release of information, then I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. Your spouse, your son, your kid, your daughter, your auntie, whoever. Of course, there's a couple of certain things. If, if you are in danger of hurting someone or hurting yourself, if you know about some sort of child or elder abuse, or if I'm court ordered by a judge, then I have to break that client confidentiality, which that has only happened to me once over 12 years of doing therapy. And that's, that's, what, that's what therapy is. It's an outside objective view, a non-biased view of talking to a person who wants to get you to what your goals are, whatever they are, reduce anger, reduce anxiety, increase connective, uh, meaningful experiences with your spouse, uh, combat negative thinking, a whole host of things. And the cool thing is that therapy is, it's losing its stigma. Before, you know, you had to be crazy or wow, that person's really got problems or issues and they need to go talk to a therapist or whatever. But, you know, thankfully, that's losing its stigma, and therapy, I'm not saying therapy is cool, of course not. How about this, self-help is cool. Self-awareness is sexy. Self, Self-reflection and uh, a desire to wanting to better yourself and better who you are, that is where it's at, my friends. So if you have any more questions, hit me up at anatomyofmarriage.com uh, or the Facebook page, or anatomyofmarriage at gmail.com and I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions about therapy, how it works, how much, what the average cost is, there's sliding scale stuff, insurance pays for a lot of therapy these days and uh, it, it's a good thing. So if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence of therapy, I would totally encourage you to go for it and try it out. It has helped me, it's helped Melanie and it's helped zillions of other people. So have a good day. All right, adios, my friends.